Hi, I'm Steve Canton. And I'm Renee Chastain. And today is our 24th anniversary. <laughs> and you may wonder why we have different last names. Well, I was 40 when we got married and I'm from New Orleans, from a French family that's been there for 300 years. I like the name Renee Chastain. So when we were gonna get married, I said, I really like my name. Do you mind if I keep it? And I said, no, is it okay if I keep mine? And so that's what we did. My background is I'm an aquatic biologist and I work on a lot of water quality issues. And over time, ended up doing a lot of work, expert witness type work in water quality hearings. And there was this time in Colorado where there was a proposal out for adding new water quality standards to wetlands. And a consultant approached me just because he needed help. He, he was a wetland biologist, but he needed help on the water quality part. So I would provide him information off and on for a few months. And then we got close to the hearing. He said, you know, some of the stuff I'm hearing back from the agencies is getting too complicated. Can you come in and actually testify, not just support me? I said, yeah, sure. He says, great, the hearing is tomorrow. I need you at a meeting tonight. So I get there and, um, and then Renee walks in the room. And uh, I also happen to notice when she's taking notes during the hearing, the notes are in limerick form, which I thought was interesting. Plus they were good limericks and technically correct. So that really worked out well. And it's hard to write a limerick using words like cryptosporidium and seriodaphnia and all the water quality well, words. And, and use people's names too, because you had Dennis Anderson in there in, in the limericks as well. And I was, a, I was a water rights attorney, so this was all new and for, new stuff to learn for me about water quality. This was my first introduction to Renee, and uh, it was kind of brief. But the next month, now we're in April of 93, and that happens to be the opening day of baseball. <laughs> Colorado Rockies, brand new franchise. They're opening the season in New York playing the Mets. And I just happened to notice that she was, seemed as interested in what was going on with the game as I was. So the Rockies were coming into town for opening weekend. And I thought, well, maybe I could, I could ask her my day. And I finally worked up the courage to call her on Saturday night to see if she'd come to a game on Sunday afternoon. And she wasn't home. So I asked her out on her machine. So I said, let's meet there and go Dutch. Yeah. And so I said, I'll buy the tickets if you buy the food. And the only tickets available were the dollar seats that were left out in, way out in the outfield. Left, left center field, nowhere land. This was a big deal. I mean, they had 80,000 people at this baseball game. Was, uh, people really wanted baseball in Colorado. So well, that was fun. And then the question was, would she actually go out on a second date? I said no, but he kept asking and he wouldn't go away. So I finally said, okay, I'll go on a date with you one time and then that's it. Um, because I don't want to go out with you. Because, you know, all I do is work and sports and you don't do all the sports I do. So um, I went out with him and he still wouldn't go away. He was very persistent, and after a while, he just became irresistible. So then that was good. I thought I was in renting a house at the time, and I needed to make a decision whether I was going to buy it or not. And finally, said, "Well, maybe we could move in together in her place." I mean, she lived up in the mountains uh, west of Denver, and she goes, "Well, I tell you, I'll let you do that if you build me a car park." It's true, I lived in an old hunting lodge in the mountains, no carport, no protection from the deep snow that we got a lot. So he built me a beautiful carport and he made it into an extension of my old log deck and he even built it around a pine tree. It was gorgeous and it worked as a carport. So 
That was great. Yeah. Don't tell anyone I didn't get a permit. I. Uh, uh, yeah. We don't. We don't care. I. I can't go there. Um, so then he wanted to get married, and I didn't want to get married because I was 40, and he, you know, he was a little bit older, and we didn't have kids, and I thought, why bother? But then he went to talk to my boss, who was an old friend of mine, and my boss said, if you tell her you'll take her to France, she'll probably marry you. So he asked me if he took me to France, would I marry him? And I said, sure. So we did. We got married in our lodge by a friend of hers who was a retired judge with, you know, like three people in attendance. It snowed the night before because we're up in the foothills, even though it's April. We had about eight inches of snow the night before. And so no one could get up the road to our house. They had to walk up from the mailboxes with the snow falling off the trees on top of them. But it's still very nice. And then we went to France. When we met, um, we found out that we had very different eating habits. I eat a lot of meat. Basically, at those, in those days, um, I had uh, McDonald's in walking distance from work. I basically had a quarter pounder with cheese for lunch every day. And meanwhile, she, doesn't eat, she didn't eat meat at all. So we have kind of, over the years, figured out how to work around that. I eat a lot more salads, a lot more vegetables now than I used to. Um, I did teach her um, how to eat more cookies. Yes, 10 pounds later, I, I do eat sugar. I didn't even own any sugar when I met him, but um, we both evolved with that, and we compromise on a lot of things. He likes to watch romantic comedy movies, and I'd rather watch war movies and action, so we... Kind of a little backwards there. Yeah, a little backwards, do that. But um, it's important, those romantic comedies, because one I was watching was called Defending Your Life back in the day, and the whole point of that is you have to face your fears, which is what I did when I first called her. <laughs> we are very devoted to each other, and very respectfully of each other and even though we just enjoy each other so much we're just our best friends yeah we are and that's just gotten even better over time and we still have our own different interests too and I, for us that's important yeah but we'd rather be with each other than with anyone else mm -hmm.